This is the newest flag that flies over the White House. There's only three flags that fly over the White House. This is one of them. Oh yeah, President Biden gave me his pin from his. That's the American flag. Um, he wore it on his lapel. So we were chatting, and he took it off and uh, gave it to me. So it's a keepsake. Could you describe the moment of coming back? Oh, it was nice. It was nice. Um, you know, it, it didn't feel real until we were flying over England. I'm a British citizen, Irish citizen, Canadian, and American. So as we came over England and I looked down, um, you know, that's when it became real. We flew over Ireland, then Canada, and into America, and then I knew I was home. So getting off the plane, seeing the president, um, the vice president, that was nice. It was a good homecoming. So looking forward to seeing my family down here and just recuperating from five years, seven months, and five days of just absolute nonsense by the Russian government. What was it like to hug your sister? Oh, it was very nice. Yeah, I hadn't seen her in a couple of years, so yeah, it's nice to reconnect with family like that. She's done a lot. You know, my brothers too. My parents. Um, you know, sometimes uh, some harsh words with the government, having to keep them accountable for taking care of us. But in the end, you know, here I am. So, um, Secretary Blinken, Jake Sullivan, uh, the bearded guy that's over here somewhere, Roger Carstens. Where did he go? And his team. I mean, they work tirelessly, and there are other government agencies that you know you'll find out about. Uh, you know, the people who arrange the um, rendezvous with the different uh, prisoners from different countries. You know, that agency, other agencies. So a lot of people and a lot of agencies went into making this happen. So I'm, I'm you know, very appreciative of that. There are so many people around the world who are praying for you to come back home. Your message to all those people who've been praying and, and seeing are seeing you now and are so thankful that you're an American citizen. I just say thank you to everybody. You know, thank you for all your prayers, your, your you know, good wishes. Um, thanks for doing everything you did. Um, you know, it, it all it all helped. So I had I had thousands and thousands of letters and cards coming in. Uh, you know, so many that the FSB stopped giving them to me. But um, yeah, there were people all over the world, and they you know they were sending in. Um, small amounts of money in, in their letters, uh, you know, there was just tons and tons of support. You couldn't believe it. So I went on a two-week vacation, you know. The FSB grabbed me, said I was a spy. Uh, I'm a, uh, apparently a general in the Army, a secret agent for DIA. This is the, the nonsense narrative they came up with, and they, they just they wouldn't let it go. So, you know, this is how Putin runs his government. This is how Putin runs his country. Yeah, I'm glad I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going back there again. <laughs> Thank you.